Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Sienna Hybrid XSE. Now the most notable features on this XSE is its power motor if you also have your blind spot monitoring and your heated front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Sienna Hybrid XSE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this XSC is its daytime running lights and then if we take a closer look just over on the side, you'll see your 18 inch wheels. Now you also have your foldable mirrors as well as your heated mirrors. Taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just letting you if there is another vehicle right beside you. And taking a closer look just at the second row here, as you can see you have your second row captain seats and taking a look just at the second row windows as you can see you have the sunshade visors in here. One of the nice things that have been added with the Sienna is this handle that goes from basically the top down to the bottom here, which makes things a little bit easier for your kids to actually get in to the vehicle or people that have a little bit more trouble get actually getting in. Now, if you're looking for the close button, it's just located just down below it. And one of the other nice things is it does have the dam uh, sorry jam protection feature. So in the event that the door does sense there's an obstruction in the way, it'll stop opening up. And then when, if you want to actually close it from the outside, just pull on the handle once more and it will close for you automatically. Now, the color we're going to be taking a look at today is gray and taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats. You have your leather interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on the left hand side you have your automatic high beams, heated steering wheel along with your gas cap release. And then on the inside of the driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, Bluetooth connectivity and voice recognition. Lane departure alert mode select, seek function, and your cruise control as well. It does offer the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we actually scroll through, you have a digital speedometer, as well as a distance to empty. You can also go through and take a look at your compass, lane departure alert, audio, trip info, energy monitor, tire pressure monitoring, lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on or off, rear cross traffic alert, and a couple of other additional features you'll find in the settings menu. And at the very end, you'll find your messages menu. Now it does offer you an exterior temperature gauge as well as a digital clock. And then taking a look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So if we actually go inside your menu screen, You'll see your destination, audio, phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, with the apps menu, it's part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use a couple of different features like the Slacker app, which allows you to stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores, just depending on what your preferences are. Now, if you take a look just down, or actually on the side here, you'll see your Sirius XM satellite radio on here. Dual zone climate control settings along with your rear temperature controls for your rear passengers, I should say. The other nice thing is that you do have the heated seat controls for your driver and your passenger with three different settings depending on how hot you would like it. As you can see, you also have a shelf that actually extends from your driver's side all the way to the passenger side, which is nice because you can place, uh, sorry, place smaller items on here, which makes things a little bit easier for you. If you want, you can actually place your phone on top here and have it connected to the USB. As you can see, it's mounted to an automatic transmission, and as you can see also, you have the drive mode and EV mode. The other nice thing is that you actually have this connected to your center console, which is nice, because in the previous gen models, this was actually open space here. But if you still wanted some storage space, there is some located just down below here. And if you take a closer look up top, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And then you'll find the open and close for the power sliding rear doors and power lift gate release with the open and closed for the power moonroof. SOS safe connect, so in the event that you're in a collision or you're unable to respond, emergency services will be sent out to you right away. 
Taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, if you take a closer look just at your tailgate here, just underneath, you'll find the part, uh, sorry, backup camera on the left hand side and the rear hatch release located in the center. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, you have a 60 40 split for the third row. So, even with the 40 side down, you still have plenty of cargo space just located on the side or down below, I should say. And then you have additional cargo space located on the left hand side. Now, if you're unsure how the seats fold or unfold, the instructions are located just on the back of the seat there. And then one of the other nice things is that you do have a power adjustable tailgate. So if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds like you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. Now, as you can see, the other nice feature that's added in is that you have the kick assist feature for the power tailgate. But you have that also for the power sliding rear doors as well. So if you have difficulty actually placing any items in your side doors or in the tailgate area itself, the kick assist feature definitely comes in handy. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.